everyone, my name is Icy. And this is May, and you're watching All Key Shop TV. TV. So this is the special loop, guys, for All Key Shop PC game deals, and there is a special code hidden somewhere here in the studio. And this code can be used to complete an entry, and of course, answer a special and our Gleam giveaway. Yes, this awesome giveaway IC gives you the chance to win 20 coins every day. Simply type exclamation mark deal in the chat to access our giveaway page and complete all entries. So, good, good luck. luck. And uh, everybody, before we proceed to our headlines, would like to greet everyone a happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Headlines would be Balfon to add General Oblivious includes Padme and Ashoka. We have your dice revealed, Battlefield 5 microtransaction. Red Dead Redemption 2 sets record for biggest opening weekends of all time. Just Cause 4 has gone gold. New Dart Real, uh, Rally 2.0 Dev Dairy teases gameplay. Strange Brigades 2 um, second DLC installment is out now. The toy to become human and, and a lot more. <laughs> That's right. So those are some of the exciting headlines, everyone. So let's now head into our first update for today, which is all about Battlefront 2. And the general grievous update is coming to Star Wars Battlefront 2. And yes, although the content has not been shared yet, it has been data mined and here is what they were able to find out. Well, both Ashoka and Padme are coming to the game as hero units. And also, guys, this was found out via the audio files that are named for them. Of course, since uh, the information has only been data mined and no official announcement has been released yet, we must take the information with a grain of salt and wait for the official announcement. Its final ability is called Unrelenting Advance, and it's one of General Grievous's most iconic moves. When this ability is used, he will form a spinning lightsaber wall in front of him, blocking all frontal attacks while dealing damage to enemies standing in his way. And we have here also DICE has shared how the Battlefield 5 microtransactions would work. Well, there are two types of currency in the game, which are company coin and battlefield currency. Now, the company coin can be earned through daily missions, career rank progressions, as well as a special assignment. Well, the Battlefield currency, on the other hand, it can be purchased. However, players are only able to use this for purchasing cosmetics. And also, as for the company coin, players can use it to purchase skill tree upgrades and new gears. we've got here Red Dead Redemption 2 sets a record for biggest opening weekend of all time. Well, Take-Two Entertainment proudly announced that Red Dead Redemption 2 has set the record of having the biggest launch weekend of all time, boasting of over $725 million in worldwide sales through in its first three days. Wow, now it also has the second biggest launch in retail sales through across all entertainment releases. It is the biggest entertainment launch of the year as well as the most pre-ordered full game ever on PlayStation Network and the biggest day one fall game full game sales ever on PlayStation Network. Your Just Cause 4 has gone gold. Now, Square Enix and Avalanche Studios have announced that Just Cause 4 has finally gone gold. Well, this means that development for the game has been completed and is all set for produc production. Yes, and Just Cause 4 here, I see, will be launching worldwide on December 4th and will be available for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Just Cause 4 follows protagonist Rico Rodriguez and is set in the South American world of Solis. Now, the game features extreme weather conditions, a huge world, and much more.
And so we've, we've got here a new Dirt Rally 2.0 Dev Diary teaser gameplay. And Codemasters released a new Dev Diary which talked about their upcoming racing game Dirt Rally 2.0. Now the Dev Diary talked about why the developers decided to develop Dirt Rally 2.0 now. Well, Chief Games designer Ross Gowen also told or talked about how they came about creating the game, citing community feedback and improvements from the previous game as the references to create 2.0. Now, the game will be available on February 20, 2019 on the Xbox One. So, guys, uh, mark this one on your calendar that's going to be on February 20. By the way, guys, we have your Strange Brigade second DLC installment is out now. The, the second the DLC brigade. of Strange Brigade Whatever is here, and it's called The Three Dam 2, which is the Sunken Kingdom. And this is the follow-up to the first DLC installment, which is the Isle of the Dead. Now, also, players would get to go on the adventure to a mythical underground city. The city is stunning with a, with a majestic temple in the middle. However, it is guarded by some deadly cave-dwelling unfriendly. And the three that um three or the thrice dam two, the sunken kingdom, is really um available right now for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Watch out, brigade! There's bull-headed brutes on the loose. for our new companion Hachiro Shimizu freelance fighter of fearsome and we've got here the toy to become human wins big at ping awards well developer quantic dream has proudly announced that its adventure game detroit become human has garnered several awards to the 2018 ping awards in france now the game has won best graphics best console game and also the grand prize well detroit become human released back in may of this year and is exclusive to the playstation 4. the game is set in the near future metropolis of detroit and features three android characters as protagonists We have your Titanfall 3, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order might launch by late 2019. So it appears like Respawn Entertainment has a couple of games coming out by 2019. According to the prepared remarks from EA's recent second quarter fiscal 2019 earnings call, new projects are underway across the multiple studios, including games from Respawn that are slated to launch by next holiday season. Now these games are Titanfall 3 and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order among other games. Well, Remedy is yet to confirm these. They will need some confirmation, guys. We have here Fortnite's next update is delayed. Well, the next Fortnite update is delayed as announced by Epic. And also, guys, the new 6.21 update was supposed to be released on October 31st, but had been postponed because of a bug had been discovered in the build at the very last minute. Well, originally, the game was scheduled to go down for the update on the 31st of October, but that has now been moved to November 1st instead. Also, just like other games or other Fortnite updates, the patch notes of 6.21 will be made available on the same date of its release, which is by tomorrow.
And also, guys, we have your legit hospital management sim project hospital is out now. So, hospital management sim project hospital is out now on PC. Well, although you might compare this with Two Point Hospital, which recently released, you might want to give that a second thought. Two Point Hospital has a more com um, comedic theme, whereas Project Hospital has a more serious tone, as players will deal with real life illnesses and diseases aside from building the hospital from down up. And the game features an open ended sandbox mode as well as a campaign mode, among others. we have here Black Ops 4 gets changes. Well, some changes are coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. Now, these are few bug fixes as well as quality of life updates. The most notable out of the list is that the armor in this mode can now receive more damage. The community had this mode, can, um, um, this community had a couple of complaints about the armor being strong and this has been the answer to it. Also, the mood's um, audio system has been worked upon making it more reliable in terms of directions. There are more on the list which you can check out in the game's official website. So guys, uh, we're not just giving some headlines here, we do also have our feature deal of the day is the action game Puppet Kings. Well, it's currently available at the best price of 3 euros and 46 cents from one of our trusted stores, while on Steam, it retails at 9 euros and 99 cents. Get this today at the best price and save 62% on your CD key purchase as well. Well, this and this and more awesome deals are waiting for you guys. So type exclamation mark deal here in the stream chat to get the link to our deals of the day page. Be smart. So compare to the key prizes here only at alkeyshop.com. Be smart, guys. I know you are smart enough, so you're gonna choose alkeyshop.com. That's Puppet Kings deal of the day.